In the United States, I've said before, we're back. The U.S. is back. The first overseas trip for President Biden has been a departure, both in a literal and symbolic sense, representing as well a stepping away from recent U.S. foreign policy. The United States has reintroduced itself uh, on the world stage, which is something that had been absent. U.S. News and World Report's Joe Williams also saw some tangible accomplishment for the president at the G7 meeting in England. He made some gains on the world stage. Basically, he reintroduced the United States to climate change and those policies. Uh, secondly, he made some moves on offshoring uh, of, of, of overseas profits where large U.S. Uh, tech companies mostly stashed their money. Additionally, the country's pledged a billion doses of COVID vaccine over the next year, a step forward, but far short of the 11 billion the World Health Organization says are needed to halt the pandemic. Still, the president was intent on making his trip about America being and back. All this issues, what we need is cooperation. And I think it's great to have uh, the U.S. president part of the club and uh, very willing to, to, to cooperate. And I think that what you what you demonstrate is that leadership is partnership. The French president offering affirmation to a U.S. leader focused on working together with the European Union. We feel very, very strongly about the cohesion of NATO, and I, for one, think that uh, the European Union is an incredibly strong and vibrant entity. Windsor Castle and a visit with Queen Elizabeth was the final stop for the president before heading to Belgium for the NATO summit and then on to Geneva for a face-to-face -face with Russian President Vladimir Putin. Biden saying that even Her Majesty took interest. She wanted to know what uh, the two leaders that I uh, about one about to meet with, uh, Mr. Putin, and she wanted to know about she uh, had about. Xi Jinping and we had a long talk. All eyes will be on Biden and Putin this coming Wednesday as they cover a gamut of issues ranging from hacking to nuclear arms control, from climate change to human rights, and to see what demeanor the new American president brings to the table with the Russian leader. Biden's a very good retail politician. He's a backstopping politician. We've not seen him muscle up or duke up on the world stage, and this may be an opportunity to see that. Thus far, the visit for Biden has been about a return to the world stage. Asked if indeed the U.S. was back, the president handed off that question. Michael Schur, News Nation.